in spring boot what is yeah. application context yeah, application context will application context is a notation which will be used in the application startup so it will contain uh, libraries which we stored in the pom.xml while starting up of application it, it will loads all uh, the data and the artifacts along with it and also the application server also and how it is different from bean factory application context and the bean factory yeah bean factory something uh, like uh, it will create uh, it will it, it is based on the service flow so it is like uh, for each service we will create a bean it is like uh, application one is like application layer one other one is like a service layer but from that it is like bean is like something of, of uh, managed by a spring container both are uh, managed by spring container it is like a service layer implementation we will use bean uh, two constructor have do not have a same bean like out of memory error so what do you like uh... What do you understand? I face by this? a lot. Yeah, out of memory error. Yeah, I know. Out of memory error, I was getting when Java heap space is uh, getting full. So in that case, we are getting out of memory error. So in my case, what happened is we were having an uh, we were storing the value into hash map and that to it in memory. Yeah. So that hash map was holding a lot of data. It was around uh, uh, every hash map was storing around seven or something. Like that. So in that case, we were getting this out of memory uh, Java heap space issue. I what I did for it is uh, basically our uh, this whole deployment was on uh, IKP. We are having IKP, which is Kubernetes, hmm. our deployment way. So in that, what we did, we give is uh, we give the memory like what is the RAM for this, how much space it will take the pods, how much it will take on the server, hmm. or uh, how much uh, CPU it is like, how much memory it is taking. So earlier it was four GI. So what I did first of all, I took, I found out where garbage collection is not there. So where the object was not being used. So we just equalized it with now. And then what we did is uh, we cr increased the size in our IKP environment in the deployment file. We just changed it from uh, two GI to four GI. Okay. And on Java size, uh, on the our this this size, what we did, we increased this uh, this one. 10248 XMSI and uh, this, uh, this, this, how much memory it will take. Basically, 102, uh, it was taking something like uh, uh, 512 or something, which is the default one. So I increased that here itself. So, what is an IOC container? Yeah, IOC container is like, like something which can achieve a loosely coupling. IOC container is exactly its, its instance and injects the dependency. Yeah, majorly by using the auto weight, it can achieve IOC. What is the difference between method overriding and method overloading? Method overriding means we can change the method in the uh, parent class in the child class. That means we can change the function of function. What is to be done inside the child class? It will be different in uh, both the parent and the child. Uh, overloading means uh, we can add uh, some more changes in the method in child class. What okay, so are you using multiple profiles? Yes, uh, we have multiple profiles. So. Uh... We have one for testing and one for actually the deployment purposes. What we use, there are several services where we have multiple profiles, but it is not useful. I mean, we only use the integration profile, and uh, there's only two profiles mainly. One is for testing, where we have that uh, test XM, test YAML, where, which is uh, configured with all the test database, and also with uh, like what configuration is necessary, right here, uh, etc. Okay, so what type of design patterns you have used? Basically, in Java, yeah, we have a structural design pattern. We have a behavioral design pattern. So in structural, like uh, we use singleton is the one which most of the time is used. Decorator is used most of the time. Ad adapter is the one like which is again in use. And uh, yeah, factory is used. Dependency injection is another in Spring. Like. Uh, what is double check locking in the case of singleton? Double check locking. Yeah. Uh, singleton concept I know, but double check locking I have not heard about. It. Yeah, singleton I have worked on. Singleton I have used that design pattern. So currently we are moving our uh, Apache Beam project completely into Spring Boot. So there we are uh, having some classes where we need one instance of that object. So for that we have used singleton, but double check locking I'm not sure. To handle lazily loaded entities in your web application using Hibernate. Uh, that uh, means uh, you want uh, that to be loaded when uh, whenever it is called only. Yes. Uh, yes. So uh, I think there is a, a at the rate lazy initialization annotation would be there. I have not used that. But. 
I think probably there is a uh, normally what happens that whenever you have one too many mapping or normally they are eager loading. So you mark it as a lazy in a initialization. There is a annotation for that. You could mark it or in configuration files. Probably I have not seen that, but annotation I'm sure there are. So they are only which whenever they are uh, you call the getter method for that or you use that. Okay. For test purpose, do you have experience working with in-memory databases? Yeah. Which one? H2. H2DB. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So have you used any design pattern or do you have knowledge about any of the design pattern? Uh, Which one? Uh, we, we, are using, we are using a factory and a single dump smoke from the factory. Okay. So where exactly you I, have used a uh, factory and where exactly you have used single dump in terms of your project? There are in our projects, so we have requirement. There are requests coming for uh, different types of requests coming in our project. Whatever complaints we get from uh, our dispute, when dispute happen, there are uh, uh, there are uh, requests come for check uh, complaint status or there might be a uh, com status of complaint and then uh, which type of uh, complaint for which type of complaint means uh, there are complaint may right such as for refund mm -hmm. uh, for uh, checking uh, oh, no, no, checking uh, 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 so I'm, I'm, yeah tell me yeah. Uh, have you created have you created a code which is from scratch which is using these design pattern or are you using some library which uses these design pattern internally um, uh, we we do a code for that it means uh, what, what uh, means which type of complaint request we are getting on the basis of that we proceed proceeding forward mm -hmm. so if the, the request is for a uh, check so we, we will get the object of that uh, check and uh, for that uh, we have our services on the basis of that services uh, that that service will get called okay. means for the for check transaction status for that uh, our service is different uh, for um, complaint status our service service is different so on the if uh, if, uh, if a request is get for uh, check uh, transaction uh, status, so that in checking transaction status, uh, our transaction, whatever our service uh, services for the whichever we design our services service for that uh, check transaction, that service by dynamically or dynamically calling that uh, services in uh, that factory. Okay. And what about singleton? Singleton, there is as such as I'm not correcting that where we use exactly, but singleton is uh, the uh, throughout the. Uh, Throughout the uh, life cycle, we only we have application uh, only one instance of that class we have. Yeah, but if you are using mm. Spring framework, Spring Boot, yeah, then yeah, Spring is a Spring, Spring is a by default uh, singleton. Yeah, so, no, but yeah. if you are using Spring framework, then that means you are using singleton design pattern. Uh, by default, right. uh, the bean is by default singleton in Spring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the bean is by default singleton, but suppose you want to override default properties in your Spring Boot project. So what you will do? If Spring doesn't provides a way to configure it, so uh, there are some uh, ways you can also configure different properties by extending certain classes. So that is possible. Uh, if that is not possible for you, you can uh, stop the auto configuration from Spring. So Spring wouldn't configure it, and you need to configure them manually yourself. So that is how you can provide uh, override the default properties. Suppose you need to store password. So what type of data type you will choose to store password? Password will be stored as a binary data. So blob uh, I can use because it will be having a, a var care or blob is almost uh, we can use because it should have the encrypted data type. So binary data is not understandable by the by any of the unauthorized person. So I can use blob or uh, var care encrypted uh, data we can store. What are these one to one, one to many, many to many relationship methods? Mapping in database design. Basically, like you have a field directly where you are like kind of mapping it to in a table, multiple rows in some another table. So that is something called one to many mapping. So uh, like you have like that those relationships being intent throughout your uh, tables, like how you are storing your primary key and foreign keys. So you have employee here, and then probably in another table you will be having like multiple addresses, like employee address and a communication address and some other ad office address. So for the same row, like records coming up in the other table. So like that again, like uh, map to one also like you like multiple records here, and then you have like single record uh, representation. Uh, so like that, those things are mapped and we used to this the data as well in from the data. So what are the different ways to create a thread pool? One of the way I know is that uh, mostly with the executor, so you create a fixed pool, thread a fixed uh, thread pool, or some joint thread pool, or placid thread pool. Executor waste means um, I'm only aware about that. Other than that, uh, what do you mean? You, if you write your own uh, implementation, uh, probably I don't sure with that. I'm not sure with that. Uh, yeah, executor you can use that. In any case, fixed 
Fistful said is better with the number of profits defined the thread pool. So join uh, thread pool is better so that your uh, thread will not sit the ideal and they can be utilized in security or any other operation. They can uh, use that. Cassette thread pool, I think uh, it's cassette the thread, but I'm just not sure if the uh, cassette thread pool or uh, means it will obviously set the cassette, but uh, what will happen? Or there are means other. Uh, Thread pool executed normally, plainly also you could see it, not exactly knowing the method. Then. 